Apply this to your pots and pans. The results will surprise you. They'll look brand new. Thanks to this trick, my pots are clean and shiny. To prepare the super cleaning solution, you only need four ingredients. First, take five lemons. Cut each lemon into two equal halves, then cut them again to make quarters. Put the cut lemons into a blender and blend them thoroughly. If you don't have a countertop blender, you can use a hand blender. Strain the lemon juice from the blender into a bowl using a sieve to remove the peels. Take another bowl and divide the juice into two parts. In one part, add three tablespoons of cornstarch and mix well until there are no lumps. In the other part, add one tablespoon of baking soda and mix thoroughly. Then, add one tablespoon of sugar and mix again. Now, combine the two mixtures by pouring one into the other and mixing them well. Your pot and pan cleaner is now ready. Simply apply it to a burnt pot, wait a few minutes, and then scrub the pot with a scouring pad. You'll see the results almost immediately. Use this trick, and your pots will look like new. No more messy stove tops. My grandmother shared a secret trick with me that keeps my pots from boiling over. This simple method prevents water from boiling over while cooking. Imagine never having to worry about a dirty stove or overflowing pots again. You can prevent this by rubbing the top of the pot with two common kitchen items. This easy technique creates a barrier that stops water and other substances from spilling over the sides of the pot. This way, your kitchen stays clean, and you can focus on other tasks. Whether you're cooking pasta, potatoes, or rice, this solution is both practical and economical, as it uses products you likely already have in your kitchen. Just before placing the pot on the stove, smear a small amount of fat, such as butter and oil, on its upper edge. Try this trick, and see how much easier it can make your life. You'll never have to clean a burnt stove or keep an eye on the pot as if it were your precious treasure. Surprise your friends with this knowledge and enjoy stress-free cooking every day. Trick to make your entire kitchen shine. Metal pots, bowls, and elements on various equipment will regain their shine. This way, you will remove all stains and streaks from metal dishes. Steel will look like new. You can recommend this method to friends and family. Pour a tablespoon of cornstarch into a bowl. Our grandmothers often used starch to clean various surfaces. Add a tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda is excellent for removing greasy stains. Pour a measure of laundry detergent. Add one measure of dishwashing liquid. Pour a glass of water. Mix everything together. These products are excellent for removing various stains and will deal with streaks and stains on steel elements. Pour the mixture into a measuring cup and using a funnel. Pour it into a bottle with a spout. It can be an empty bottle from the previous dishwashing liquid. You can use this liquid immediately to clean metal elements in kitchen equipment. Just use a small amount of liquid and wipe the equipment with a cloth, then wipe dry with a towel you will quickly notice that the steel becomes shiny. Stains and streaks disappear. You can also clean a metal kettle with it. Without scrubbing, it will be shiny as new in a few seconds. This liquid keeps all my pots clean. They are shiny like new. Your sandwich maker will be clean in seconds without the tedious scrubbing of burnt residue. If you're wondering how to clean your sandwich maker quickly and effectively, this method is for you. Any sandwich lover uses their sandwich maker frequently, but cleaning it isn't as enjoyable. If the sandwich maker is used often, it becomes increasingly difficult to clean. Some people even stop using it because they don't know how to clean it properly. But the solution is very simple. Next time your sandwich maker gets dirty, use the paper towel trick. Every sandwich maker manual should mention this cleaning method. And it's not just about wiping the surface with a paper towel. You need to use it in a rather unusual way. Tear off a few pieces of paper towel. Prepare a bowl of water. Dip the paper towel pieces into the water. Squeeze out the excess water. 
Now spread these pieces of paper towel on the sandwich maker. They can overlap. Close the sandwich maker and turn it on for a few minutes. The high temperature and steam from the water will loosen the burnt residue. The paper towels will absorb all the dirt. Use kitchen tongs to remove them. Gently wipe the surface of the sandwich maker with the damp paper towels, and you're done. A simple coin solved the oven problem. From now on, cleaning the oven is a piece of cake. Finally, all the burnt residues have disappeared. I used a natural mixture. I also used the coin trick. To prepare the special mixture, use one small cup of baking soda. Pour in half a cup of water. Add another cup of spirit vinegar. Do it gradually because foam will surely form. It's a reaction from the combination of soda and vinegar. This mixture works wonders in the oven. Take a dish sponge. Apply the mixture to the burnt areas. Cover all the burnt residue that has baked onto the bottom of the oven. Do it thoroughly. Put the rest of the mixture in the oven. The dish must be heat resistant. Close the oven. Set it to 100 degrees. Turn it on for about 40 minutes. After this time, remove the bowl. Start cleaning the grady. Just a regular spong is enough for this. You don't have to scrub anything. The burnt residue comes off on its own. Flip the grate over. After a short while, it's as good as new. Also, wipe the glass on the oven door. The dirt and residue are gone. Now start removing the mixture from the bottom of the oven. Use the sponge to remove the soda and burnt residue. The burnt residue comes off as if by magic. Just gather all the dirt. It's almost unbelievable. After a while, there won't be a trace of dirt or burnt residue. If there are any individual burnt spots left, you don't have to make the soda, water, and vinegar mixture again. Just use the coin trick. It's very simple and effective. Rub the burnt spots with the coin. They'll come off for sure. Any place that the soda didn't neutralize for some reason, you can remove with the coin. As a result, the oven is finally truly clean and shiny. The burnt residues are gone. It's hard to believe it's the same oven. The whole secret is the mixture of soda with water and vinegar and the coin. Apply it to the induction hob. It'll be as good as new without scrubbing. When the induction hob is dirty, there's a simple solution. Stains, streaks, and even burnt spots will disappear as if by magic. Just use two products that you surely have in your bathroom. Take shaving foam and apply it to the induction hob. A few strips are enough. Also, use toothpaste. Squeeze it in a few places. Toothpaste makes cleaning many surfaces easier. It also removes greasy stains and disinfects. This simple trick will deal with dirt on the glass surface of the induction hob. See how easy it is? It looks strange, but it really works. Shaving foam is often recommended for removing various stains. After all, it's a certain type of soap. So it's perfect for cleaning delicate surfaces. Cover the induction hob with cling film. Do it carefully. Once the film covers the induction, press the foam with toothpaste firmly. These two products will mix and cover the entire surface. Leave the induction hob like this for a few minutes. The foam with toothpaste will work during this time. Then spread the white foam again. Remove the film and throw it away. Collect the rest of the mixture with a paper towel. You don't have to scrub anything. All the dirt will come off with the foam. Finally, wipe the hob dry and it's done. It will be shiny and clean as new. See and evaluate the difference. Shaving foam with toothpaste is indispensable in this case.